Hey, this is Horner. We're going to look at the five types of graphs, the shapes, the relationships, and the equations for each one. Type one is a super simple thing to do. Um, basically, you're just going to draw a line starting from the left, going to the right, and the shape of this line is just a horizontal. So it's a horizontal line. So super easy. The relationship here is there is not a relationship between the y and the x-axis. So there is no relationship. And basically what that means is y has one value. And that value we're going to call a constant a. So I'm just going to put an arrow there and just say this is a constant. For example, this number might be 5, so here y is equal to 5. And you'll notice it doesn't matter what value of x you have. It could be 2, it could be 4, you could have 6, 8. It really doesn't matter. You'll see that the value for y is always the same. So we don't put x here at all. This is your equation. Notice this is the shape. It is a horizontal line. And there is no relationship for this one at all. On the next type of graph, we have type 2. This one is very similar to the one before. You'll just draw a straight line starting at the corner and then going up to the right. And the shape for this one is now a line. Notice we didn't call it a horizontal line or a vertical line. We just call it a line. The relationship here is very simple to remember. It's just a linear relationship. And I remember that by, here's the word line again. So it's a line R relationship. The equation is your typical equation you would use for a line on a graph, and that's y is equal to mx plus b. Super simple. Remember m is your slope, and slope can be calculated uh, a couple different ways, but we're going to just look at one way. We know that the bottom here would be x1, and this would be y1. And then some point on the line, we could call this one y2 and x2. So it's got these two coordinates. x2 would actually be down here, and y2 would be here. So uh, the slope m is equal to the rise over the run. We know that that's also equal to, and then this symbol just means change. Uh, this is the Greek letter delta, and it just means change in. And this is the change in the y over the change in the x. This can also be shown by taking your y2 minus your y1. So you should have done this before a lot of different times. So y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1, and that is your slope. B is your y-intercept. So that's where your um, line will cross the y-axis. For this example, you'd see it would be 0. But if you had a different line, so let's do a line in a different color. Maybe we had a line here. Now your y-intercept is actually on the line somewhere. We could even say that this is y is equal to 5, that point right there. So now you would have a value. Uh, the x is just any point x that you have along the line, and then the y is the corresponding point y. So that's type number two. For type number three, uh, this one's a little bit different. Our graph uh, that we have here, we're going to draw this kind of curve. So now we've got a curve that looks like this. And before we do the shape, I want you to draw a picture. So here's the picture. You're going to draw a roller coaster car. And then you're going to put you or me in it, doesn't matter. Uh, so here you or I are one of the two. And then there's your really big hands and your other really big hand. And then you're going down a roller coaster hill, so you're screaming. Arr, okay. Um, Arr, all the way down. And when you scream, ah, all the way down, we would say that you're very hyper. So we're going to write the word hyper. And then if you notice this side, if I drew another side, if I continue it back up and then draw a circle like this, it looks like a bowl. So this would be a hyper 
B-O-L, but instead of spelling bowl, we're going to spell bola. So it's a hyperbola, or known in math as a hyperbola. The relationship for a hyperbola is easy to remember on this one because on a roller coaster, you typically will go through a loop, and when you're at the top of the loop here, you are upside down. And another term for upside down would be inverted. So we say the relationship here is an inverse relationship. The equation we'll use for this is y is equal to a, where a is a constant again, and we're going to put that over x. So as x goes up, y goes down. You'll notice that as I move from left to right, my x increases and my y is decreasing. That's type number three. Type number four is very uh, similar to that. And instead of having the left side of the bowl, now we're going to draw the right side of the bowl. So remember, we had our bowl, so here's our bowl. And you've got two sides now to the bowl, and we're looking at the second side. And if you have two of something, you usually call that a pair. So this one is a para, and because it's a bowl, we're going to call it a parabola, which actually is a parabola. The relationship for a parabola is quadratic. So we'll write quad, oops, radic, quadratic. And the equation for uh, a uh, quadratic equation will be y is equal to a times x squared. So we won't do the plus bx plus c. We're just going to keep this part. Uh, so this is just y is equal to a, remember a is a constant, times x squared. And that's your fourth type of graph. The last type of graph uh, that we'll do is related to guardians of the galaxy. So we're going to draw a curve that looks like this. And in my classroom up front, you'll see a picture. And that picture is of the, uh, the uh, comic book character named Groot. Okay. And I like this because it sounds a lot like square root. And that's the same thing. Uh, so you won't ever use this in math, so don't say, oh, that's a Groot relationship, because they'll think you're really weird. Uh, this is just a Mr. Horner physics thing, so no big deal. Your equation that you could use is y is equal to the square root of x. But we're not going to use this equation. Instead, we're going to make it a little bit easier. It's a lot easier to plot y squared versus, oops, uh, y squared is equal to, so I'm going to back this up here, y squared is equal to x. Uh, so if you were plotting this line, if you did y squared is equal to x, you would see this shape. You would also see the same shape with this equation, but it's just a lot easier to square numbers than it, uh, in your head than it is to do the square root of numbers. And those are the five different types of graphs, uh, the shapes, the relationships, and equations that you will need to know for physics.